Hi, this is Joe Jordan, and I'd like to welcome you to Full Stack Development with React and ASP.NET Core 2, a video presentation by Pact Publishing. Just a little bit about myself. I have an extensive background in full stack development. I spent several years developing on ASP.NET. I've spent quite some time on React. I also have experience in other technologies like Angular, of course, JavaScript, SharePoint, the list goes on. I've been at it for a number of years. I'm also an experienced instructor and public speaker. I've spoken at conferences like Comdex, PASS, Desert Code Camp. I'm also an author published through Wiley, and I'm a video author published through Pluralsight as well. But I'm going to be talking to you today specifically about ASP.NET and React. And let's take a look at some of the things we're going to learn in this course today. First, we'll get into scaffolding your website. And that's where we're going to create the base website using ASP.NET and React. And there will be some other things in that base because we're going to use a template that Microsoft gives us. It's going to start things up much faster than if we do it from scratch. Next, we'll get into crafting the UI. And that's where we'll go in and start to create some of the HTML that we're going to need to put into our website to make it look and feel the way that we want. After that, we'll discuss state management with Redux. Now, Redux can seem a, a little daunting at first, but don't worry, you're going to get it. We're going to make that easy to work with, and you'll understand what it does when we're done. Next, we'll get into adding the Web API backend, and of course, that's going to be done with ASP.NET Core 2 Web API. We'll use that for storing data and for getting data back from data store. Then we'll move into enhancing that API with the Entity Framework. And specifically, we're going to use Entity Framework to connect to a SQL Server database so that we can store and retrieve our data from a persistent data store. Then finally, I'm going to show you how to use SignalR for real-time communication so that our server can talk to our client and show the most current information about our website. So with all that being said, there are just a few prerequisites that you'll need to really get the most out of this course. You'll need, of course, to understand JavaScript and HTML, but you're also going to have to have a basic understanding of React and what it does and why we use it, and a basic understanding of ASP.NET. With basic understanding of all these things, you're going to get plenty out of the course. So again, welcome to the course, and let's get started.